Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to create a modern registration form using HTML and CSS. This form will include fields for username, email, password and confirm password. Plus, we will style it with some cool effects to make it stand out. So let's get started. So first we will create HTML file. File name will be index.html. Hit enter. Create a boilerplate. Hit enter. Now we will add a content inside body section. So here first I will create div. Class name will be container. Inside this container div. So we will use a heading 2. So for heading 2 we use h2. Hit enter. And uh, I will give a text. Create your account. After this we will create form. So form. Hit enter. I will remove this action. We don't need this action. Hit enter. Inside this form, we will create another div. Class name will be input group. So dot input hyphen group. Hit enter. Inside this input group div, we will create label and input. So I'll create for user label. Hit enter. And uh, here I'll write username. And I'll give a text username as well. User name. Now after this I'll create input field. So input field type will be text and uh, I'll give ID. ID will be user name and uh, I'll give name attribute as well. So name also user name and I'll require this text field. So required. Now after this I'll create one another div. The class name will be same input group. So dot input hyphen group at enter. Now inside I'll create for emails. I'll again create label and input. So label and this will be email and this will also email. Now after this I'll create input field so input field type will be email and id also email name email as well and in the last this is also required after this i'll create again dot input group hit enter inside this input group i'll create password so label for is password and uh, text will be password as well now after this i'll create input field it will be password and uh, id is also password name is also password this will also required now i'll create one more div for confirm password so dot input hyphen group hit enter inside this div i'll create label hit enter and this will be confirm password password and the text is also confirm password i'll create input field hit enter input and the type will be password id is confirm password and uh, name is also confirm password and this will also required now I'll save this and let's see on browser. So I'll run this on browser. Open with live server. So you can see our content is created. Now I'll add one button here for registration. So I'll open Visual Studio Code and after creating a button, we will style this using CSS. So I'll open Visual Studio Code and uh, here after the last div, I'll create button and the type will be submitter and the text will be register now i'll save this and uh, i will link our css file so here in the uh, head section i'll link css file link hit enter and the file name will be style dot css cursor on the style dot css follow link create file so it will create file for us you can see our file is created now we will design this form using css so i'll open css file and here first i'll select body curly braces hit enter so first i'll give display plex align item center and uh, justify content also center and i'll give height 100 vh background color ash 
f0 f2 f5 now after this i'll select this first div the class name is container control c and here i'll first dot control v curly braces hit enter first i'll give background color so background hash fff and uh, i'll give padding 20 pixel and uh, 30 pixel after this i'll give border radius 10 pixel and i'll give some box shadow so box shadow 0 10 pixel and uh, 25 pixel rgba remove this all and the value will be 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 after this i'll give max width so max width 400 pixel and uh, width 100 percent now after this i'll select this uh, first heading so i'll select from tag so h2 and i'll give text align center color h333 and uh, margin bottom 20 pixel now let's see on browser so i'll open a browser so you can see our container div and our heading is designed now we will design this input so for that first i'll select input group div so i'll copy this ctrl c and uh, here dot ctrl v curly braces it in so i'll give only one property margin bottom margin bottom 20 pixel now after this inside this input group we have a label and input field so i'll select so first i'll design label so dot input group label curly braces hit enter so i'll give display block and uh, font width bold after this i'll give margin bottom 5 pixel and uh, i'll give text color so color hash 555 five, five. now after this we will design input field so i'll select input group inside this input group we have input field from the braces hit enter so first i'll give width 100 percent padding 10 pixel and uh, border 1 pixel solid hash ddd after this i'll give border radius 5 pixel and uh, font size 16 pixel now after this we will apply focus effect on this input field so i'll scroll this and uh, i'll select input hit enter semicolon focus curly braces hit enter so first i'll give border color hash 3f51b5 after this i'll remove outline so outline none and uh, i'll give some box shadow box shadow 0 0 5 pixel rgba i'll remove this all and the value will be 63 comma 81 comma 101 comma 0 0.5 and square bracket. so i'll save this and let's see on browser so you can see our text speed and label is design and our focus effect is also work now we will design this registration button so i'll open visual studio code and i'll select button for button we don't have a class so i'll directly select button curly braces hit enter first i'll give width 100 percent fading 10 pixel background color hash 3f51b5 after this i'll give color hash fff hit enter and uh, i'll remove border so border none and uh, i'll give some border radius 5 pixel after this i'll give font size 16 pixel and uh, cursor pointers and in the last i'll give transition so transition background color 0.3 second is now after this we will apply a hover effect on this button so i'll select button from the braces hit enter and i'll give background color hash 303 f9f now i'll save this and let's see on browser so you can see our registration form is completed so our hover effect doesn't work now i'll open visual studio code and here we will mess hover so i'll give hover semicolon hover 
control s now let's see so you can see our whole effect work so in this way you can create registration form that's all for today we have created a stylish and modern registration form with a clean design and interactive element if you enjoyed this tutorial give it a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more web development tutorials thank you for watching and see you in the next video